Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today I've been inspired by an art piece by Inky Quill and using some Jane Davenport face stencils. So this is a piece that Inky Quill Adele Toomey had on one of her Patreon sites as a, an art print and the colours in it just really, really spoke to me. I absolutely adored it. And I've had the Jane Davenport face stencil sitting in my um, pile for a long time so I thought what a beautiful way to sort of try those and use the same colours that I saw in Adele's work and have a go at doing it in my own art journal. So I'm starting off my large dilutions journal and I've just gessoed the page because I wanted a white base to it instead of the cream pages that you have in the, the journal and also because I wanted to have this sort of blue tinged white background to work with. So I've Put it on the gesso and while it's wet I've um, blended in some of the Sky Dina Wakely paint. Not been too particular with how I've done it but just so I've got that beautiful blue colour coming through it in the background. When I've done that um, I'm going to dry off my page and make sure it's all set so I can do my next section. So in the original print from Adele she had these sort of bits of red collage through pink hair which I really really like the effect of um, but because I was doing this late at night and I really couldn't be bothered going through magazines and finding red words and you know bits of collage that would fit I decided that I was going to make my own collage sheet to um, tear up and use in the hair so I'm using these fabulous uh, word stencils from Flutterby Designs be aware one of them does have a swear word in it I don't mind but some people may do so just be particular when you're ordering it to make sure that it's not one that you don't want um, and I just wanted to have lots of words I didn't care really what the words said because um, I knew I was going to tear them up into different pieces some of the words may be readable some of the words may not be um, in the final piece one of the swear words is actually very readable which wasn't intended at all but it kind of works in the scheme of things. So I'm using Ruby Paint again, Dilutions Ruby Paint, not Dilutions, sorry, um, Dina Wakely, putting bare minimum onto my makeup sponge and sponging it through. And I'm sponging onto some uh, deli paper, collage paper, because I know by putting onto that, when I gesso a uh, matte medium onto the background, it's going to sort of dissolve. So once I've done the reds, and you can see the directions of the words are going different ways, I decided to over stencil that again with another Dina, um, Dina Wakely stencil, which is one of my favourites. And I thought I'd add some pink into this. So again, sort of just overlaying all those uh, words and just making colour basically, pattern and colour. Some of the words are going to be readable, some of the words aren't going to be readable. I actually found by putting the pink over the background, it helped in the final um, image blend the collage papers into the background more because it had that pink in it below and above. It sort of blended everything in. So as you can see, it's not really readable, uh, but it's um, going to work in, in the end. Once I've done this, I pulled out my stencil. So this is the Jane Davenport stencil. It's one of her new stencils and I'm just using my Stabilo Oil pencil which is a water activator pencil to just draw in some of the lines of the stencil. Now there's not much detail in this stencil and the detail comes in later. So I'm using the water st um, pencil because it will sort of blend out and dissolve into the paints that I'm going to be using so you won't see it in the end. Then all I'm doing is going in and just putting in rough colours in magenta and fuchsia on the hairline. So just roughly kind of where I want the hair to go. It's not too particular, just slapping down paint and drying off in between. And now I'm going in with that collage paper that I've made and just gluing it down, just tearing it up into pieces. I don't care what way the words are going, um, how they're going. In fact, I didn't actually read any of the words and I got a bit, <laughs> bit of a surprise at the end when I took the photo it's like oh that word's more visible than I thought it would be because I just wasn't paying attention I had 
something playing in the background and I was just busy slapping down paint and slapping down collage medium as I do, not really paying attention to what I'm doing. So you can see as I'm putting it down though, by having it on that deli paper it's really blending into the background. You can't see the tissue paper at all, it just really has blended in and you can see that the pink that I put over the top has helped blend it into the background as well. So it looks a little bit odd at the moment, this sort of fiery hair and no face. So I'm going in with the Jane Davenport portrait paint set to add in the skin tones. So this is the lightest colour in that set and then I'm going to go in some of the deeper colours just to add a bit of shading. I'm also just putting in with the magenta to pick up from the hair some a t-shirt or a dress top. Whatever, whatever it's going to be. So this is the, the deeper colour, the orangey colour that's going to be my shadow colour for my portrait. And again, I'm not being very particular about what I'm doing. I'm sort of putting the shadows where I think they're going to be, obviously under the neck, on the sides of the face, around the headline. Hairline, not headline thinking about newspapers, don't know why, uh, and drying off in between. It is handy to dry your layers off as you go, just so you know things aren't going to smudge. Now I'm going in with a stencil again and with a lighter ink. So I'm going in with a brown ink. This is actually quite a deep brown. Um, I know in Jane Davenport's set of squid inks, she's got a lighter brown colour to do this same technique. However, it actually works in the end and it doesn't matter if it's a little bit darker because you can use those as your shadow lines. So I'm going to colour in the face with some of my paint pens. So I started off with the lips of the pink, going in with the blue eyes and then with the black and white pens to fill in the irises and the pupils. So I you can see already from starting off with something really, really blank, just by adding in a few details, you start to get something a lot more realistic. Now I'm going in with the licensed quill pen, but my I've used it so much it's dead, I'm going to need to get another one. So this is one of her other pens, which is pretty much the same. Um, I really can't see the difference. Apparently one's slightly thicker, one's not, but to my eye, they're both pretty much the same, so um, I think it's, I can't even remember what it's called, the black lace or something like that. So going in, hot vinyl, that's what it is, sorry, <laughs> it just popped into my head. Going in with some more shadows and um, some of that deeper colour on the side of the nose to add some detail. The eyes look very flat at the moment because I haven't put any highlights in yet. I thought I'd wait to do that until the very end. And I was spreading out the paint with my fingers. I tend to do that a lot just to get it a little bit more natural and not the sharp edges of the paintbrush. Um, but I, when I did it, you just need to be really, really careful with those licensed quill and the, the Jane Davenport pens. They are permanent and waterproof. But you do need to leave them to dry and I didn't leave them long enough to dry so it um, smudged a little bit. Now I was able to wipe it off with wet wipe and sort of colour over it again but just be aware that you do need to give it some drying time. So now I'm going in with a white pen just to sort of highlight in where I want to put the, the hairlines and my pen exploded on me. So I've got a few splodges of white, which is okay. It sort of blends in in the end. So now I'm going in with a pink pen, and I was finding my thin pens just weren't giving me the lines that I needed at that stage. The other reason was that particularly around the face area, it wasn't 100% dry. So it is really important when you're using paint pens to make sure that everything is dry. They do go over most things, but as with all pens, it does work much better when everything's dry. So I'm just using a variety of pink tones and white to just add in some hairlines sort of across the face and um, through where I've collaged. Now I'm not being too particular about those white spaces at the edge because you can see here I'm going in and painting those in. Again just using a little bit of the magenta that I had to blend it into the background and also to go over where the um, 
face paint has gone as well just to sort of make it hair blend it into the background and then I'll go in with paint pens again to add in some more detail over the top so this in all honesty was a fairly quick page to come together I was really happy with how it went and it was for me in particular having the face stencils is a huge help in my arsenal of tricks because getting proportions on faces is really tricky sometimes getting eyes correct is really tricky and noses so having something that you can use just to give you the guidelines and then you can add to um, I found really really helpful this is the first time for example with the eyes that I've actually got in and done those little white lines around the eyes which I love it just made all the difference to the eye and even going in and just putting in the um, eyebrows and the eyelashes just making it a real focal point on the page and I just loved the contrast of that really bright pink and that really strong face it just really appealed to me I need to work on my nose as you can see <laughs> and now I'm going in with the Stabilo Oil Pencil just again to put some black lines in and just to darken it up. I didn't want to have a really strong black line around the face because we don't. So that's why I chose to use the Stabilo Oil Pencil because I could blend it out as you can see here to, for more shadow lines. So I quite like how that sort of softened up the face but um, I'm not particularly happy with how the nose ended up. The other thing that I used the um, Stabilo Oil Pencil for was to go around the outside of my hair and outside of the body just to give a little bit of definition and finish to the hair and even though I've got some of that pink coming out above and below it just sort of gives more of a definition to where the hair is and where the body is and to what's in the background and I really am glad that I did that it sort of just helped pop the um, body out of the the background you can see it sort of starts to look almost three-dimensional you can see very clearly now what's the background and what's the foreground if you don't have a, a Stabilo Oil Pencil in your your kit I would strongly recommend getting one um, they're a little bit tricky to find in some places but they're just the most amazing pencil and I honestly wasn't very sold in them I thought everyone was talking about it's like oh yeah it's just another water soluble pencil um, but it is amazing as soon as you touch the pencil with water it's like an ink ink flows out of it so it really is a, a beautiful line so when I'd finished this one of the other things that Adele had in her art print was she had some really scribbly writing across the background in gold and I love that contrast of the blue pink and gold it really added to the the final piece so I found a quote which was um, she was life itself wonderfully chaotic a perfectly put together mess and that just totally summed up this page it was just so chaotic but it was just beautiful and it was put together really well um, in my mind's eye anyway so I thank you so much to Adele for the beautiful inspiration for this page I absolutely adored doing this and I loved having those face stencils to use as um, a model for the face on this piece I hope you have a go at doing this it was really simple and it was just so beautiful and it's such a bright happy piece in my journal thank you so much for watching and until next time bye